Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambeau channel. Let's talk about XRP hitting $60 per XRP this market cycle. Do you think that's going to happen? Well, look, <laughs> let's talk about the potential path forward for this. And I I'm happy to divulge at the outset of this video. I'm not so convinced that this is going to happen. But at the same time, I cannot deny something in the charts that looks peculiar maybe that's too much of a euphemism it looks it's insane it's it, it's insane like the it, only sort of let me just let me get into the video a little bit and i'll explain what i'm talking about but uh, i want to cover that because really it has to do with um xrp being compared to dogecoin which i've been talking about for like the last several days and a couple more uh more well-known chart analysts within the xrp community i'd say um started talking about it today um, which uh, certainly was of interest to me. Uh, also, I'm sure there's all sorts of fearful people right now, uh, just because uh, XRP, oh my gosh, that's down. Well, the whole market's down. It's not like there's something fundamentally different about XRP that was not the case several days ago. It's just the, the market, market was, I'll talk about it in a second. I just, I, there's so many new people in the world of crypto. I know people are freaking out out there. And while I'm never going to offer financial advice, I will never tell you to buy or sell. I do want to add my perspective because if I can help somebody to like stop feeling miserable and maybe not make their own decisions based on emotion, uh, that I would like, that I would like. I'm not going to tell you to buy or sell or hold, but if we could just remove the emotions so that you can make a sound decision, whatever you think is best for you, yeah. Happy to do that. But uh, before I go any further, I do want to be clear that I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast making YouTube videos all up on the internets about Ripple and XRP and crypto and, you know, unicorns. That's my favorite topic to cover on this channel. And that's all that's going on here, though. That That's it. just want to be clear. As I record this. XRP down to $1.33. Just for a little perspective, though, if I said a few months ago XRP will definitely be at $1.33, people would be like parading in the streets if we knew for sure that was going to happen. But now we're here today and people are losing their ever loving minds because it was higher than that several days or so ago. And I'm just like, oh my God, human emotion. The whole reason this market does what it does in terms of uh, price actions and, and the volatility. It's because of human psychology. And so just being aware of this is one of the, like making yourself aware that of how humans behave is one of the best things a person can do to fall out of this trap because it's just an endless number of useful idiots causing the volatility which will make people that are long-term holders rich. Uh, and and Because um, and, look, <laughs> Warren Buffett, I believe, is the, 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 the guy that said, and he was talking about the stock market. It's true for crypto too. He said, he said the stock market is a mechanism for transferring wealth from the impatient to the patient. To, uh, to the patient, and so why why could that be a thing? Why, how is that possibly a thing? Well, because there's all sorts of uh, if you especially if you're paying attention on a day to day basis, so many instances where you can freak out about price if you don't know what the hell is going on and why it's happening. It's not about fundamentals. It's about uh, it's about herd mentality. It, it's a herd. It's people, humans behaving like a just like a herd. You know, something like a spark ignites and just like that, people start following uh, what everybody else is doing, even if it doesn't make a damn bit of sense. And so that's why, historically, if you look at when uh, when, when uh, the prices are really, really high, and that means it, it makes people people feel safe. It's like, oh, this is going. Yeah, it's going up. This feels safe because it's not going down. This is the direction I want. Uh, you know, that's that's that could be, depending on the scenario, it frequently is, one of the worst times to buy. Whereas when prices on something are tanking, you know, as long as you're, we're not talking about like BitConnect here, which was an actual scam, but outside of something like that, it, when the prices are going down, when it feels really scary to buy something, that is the time to jump in. I think so many people are missing this. You've got to be aware of this. Um, and so you got to... Uh, yeah, XRP buck thirty three, Bitcoin at fifty three thousand six hundred sixty six dollars market cap for the asset class, just over two trillion. Bitcoin dominance down to forty nine point seven seven percent. I love seeing that. Now, I'm a Bitcoin holder, mind you, long Bitcoin, uh, but I want altcoins to do better, and that's really just what we're seeing right here. Take a look at this. Here is Harry at Geraldo XRP, very famous within the XRP community for having called. Uh, the beginning of the biggest XRP bull run in history when XRP went from 20-something cents to almost $4. He also called the tippy top on January 4th. 
That's the day XRP hit its all-time high, which still stands to this date of almost four bucks, he called it. And uh, and here we are now. And uh, he, he's highlighting this um, this Doge chart that I have shared with you. Who, who's covered this that, um, that I have highlighted on the channel? There's been, before today, there were three. It was DIY investing, credible crypto, and I think the third, I could be mistaken, I think it was Love Crypto. And Love Crypto, I'm sorry if it wasn't you. I don't want to put words in anyone's mouth, but I think it was Love Crypto. Um, all highlighting just how samey these charts look. And so uh, it was like probably three days in a row I had you know one analyst on their own come to this conclusion. And I highlighted it. And now I've got two more today. So it's five analysts that, that just is like, well, this is a little bit weird. Uh, because and here's what I'm talking about. Um, Harry shared this chart here and wrote XRP weird. You just can't unsee it. And so here's, here's the chart. Um, let me blow it up here. The orange chart is Dogecoin. And then the bottom chart is XRP. And so XRP is behind structurally where Doge is. It's the same damn chart. Now I'll admit that it's peculiar in the sense that it is this precise, but not peculiar in the sense that, and I've been saying this forever, the whole market moves in tandem. So, uh, you know, if you look at the chart structure for everything that went parabolic at the end of 2017 and early 2018, it, like I said yesterday, if you take away the title of the chart and all the numbers associated with it, and you just have graphically the representation of what happened, it, Bitcoin's interchangeable with XRP, is interchangeable with Ethereum, is interchangeable with Picker Coin that was around during that time period. All the charts look the same. Um, now, if you zoom in on the timelines, it's not that everything perfectly lines up, but if, if, if you just look at the bull, like the parabolic action of the, of the bull run for each individual coin, it's the same damn chart. This is that concept on steroids because it's just, it, look at this. This is one of the most same Z charts I've ever seen in my entire life. And so this is why people are talking about, okay, is, is XRP going to complete like this? Is it going to, is it going to go um, this high? Uh, well, here's the neat thing. It's so like a blockchain backer highlighted this too. And you can see here, the, he retweeted out the ultimate moonshot comparing the Ripple XRP price chart to the Doge chart. How high could it go? And so I watched his video on this. And not that he buys into this necessarily happening either, but he said, well, if you play this out, if you're expecting XRP to follow this chart pattern, uh, just like Doge did, you'd see uh, XRP run up to about $11 and change, you'd see a pullback, and then you'd see it run up to almost $60. And so, look, and he pointed out something that I, 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 I got to point out too. That way, I believe the number that he cited in his math was that XRP would have a market cap of like four point five trillion dollars. So, look, look, there's enough money on the planet to make XRP have that market cap. I'm not saying it can't. I'm saying for this market cycle, given that Bitcoin leads everything, I have. I, mean, I would love for it to happen. I'm skeptical of that. And I think for good reason. Uh, because the way that this works is Bitcoin's going to run up. And then once people are like, okay, uh, it's run its course, people want to take some profits, then the bubble, whatever the tippy top ends up being, it will pop. That money will flow into large cap coins and then mid cap coins and small cap coins. And so, you know, given that humans are behaving like, like last they did last cycle, I think there's about a 0% chance that uh, Bitcoin's going to be supplanted by any coin in terms of market cap. It's going to remain number one. The money starts there, it flowed into there, and then it's going to cycle not just into XRP, but into every coin. And so the money that was there, it's going to splinter off. And some new money will rush in fine, and they'll go chase after the green candles perfectly fine. I, I just don't believe for a moment that you're going to see, I mean, <laughs> you're going to see, because what would it have to be? Like, you'd have, <laughs> XRP's market cap, was less than half of Bitcoin's last market cycle if you look at the peak of each. And so if, if XRP was actually going to have a market cap of $4.5 trillion, do you, like, if it's going to look like last market cycle, does that mean that, that Bitcoin's going to have a $9 trillion market cap this market cycle? Is it even going to have a $4.5 trillion market cap? I doubt it. I mean, I'd love it. Look, I'd love it. I'm just saying I'm skeptical. I'm not making a prediction. So I, I, I'm happy to acknowledge I don't know. But man, it's... it's the, the, the higher you get in price, like the more I'm just going to be like, eh. It's like we're talking about 60 bucks now. Well, what if it were 70? What if it were 80? What if it were 100? What if it were 200? What if it were 10,000? The further out you get, the more I'm going to be like, ah, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> so, uh, but if it did it, that would be something. And it is worth acknowledging. And Blockchain Backer said this too. Look, uh, XRP last, last market cycle 
it actually did have the, basically this, this chart formation. If you want all the specifics, he broke it down from a technical analysis perspective, which is outside of what I do on this channel. I just like sharing opinions from a bunch of different chart analysts because I don't really see anybody else doing that uh, within the XRP community. Um, but but you know, Blockchain Backer always does a great job breaking down from a, it's with the technicals of why he believes what he's doing and articulating his case. And, um, and So his video is great, but uh, yeah, I'm on board with, with him. It's just in terms of... Uh, you guys draw your own conclusion. I am highly skeptical of that. And I know the chart, it looks the same to this point. Uh, but man, outside of Bitcoin going way, way, way higher, I'm skeptical. Uh, it's just because, again, humans behaving the same as they did last market cycle. But yeah, if it does this, yeah, you're talking about $60 XRP. Um, that's why, like, for me, like, the 10 to $13 target blockchain backer talks about, like, that seems entirely possible i could absolutely see that happening then you talk about the the 10 to, or 20 to 30 dollar targets of others like diy investing incredible crypto uh love crypto those are a few off the top of my head that that uh, think that's that's the zone to really look at um you know the, again the higher you get the less confident i am in it but th those numbers don't seem wacky to me either if, if you feel strongly we're going to hit that this market cycle i don't think you're insane i hope you're right on top of that um, maybe that would happen, but it does depend still on how, how Bitcoin goes. But you start getting to this level where it's like 60 and I just, ugh, I want it to happen so, so bad just like you do. But I, <laughs> I'm just not sold on the idea here. Um, and then there was this from chart analyst, high altitude investing. Did you all forget that XRP will be worth over $20 this cycle? Okay, so there's another analyst actually. I should have thrown him in the <laughs> just a minute ago. Um, I did not forget. And so I actually retweeted that. Um, actually, I just saw that I'm tagged here. Who's this? Kenwood Capital, Moon Lambo. I am putting in my prediction as I trust uh, at the uh, the Cool Twin over twenty dollars. It is okay. Well, I'll hit a heart on that one. I didn't even notice that until right now when I pulled this tweet up. But uh, yeah, thanks for tagging me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, twenty dollar XRP. That doesn't sound whacking me. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it's it's not some sort of completely Looney Tunes uh, expectation. I don't think. Um, here's a tweet uh, with that chart analyst Credible Crypto was tagged and somebody's asking a question wrote Credible Crypto was there a point in the past where Bitcoin dominance was at a certain spot and XRP or other alts went parabolic thanks for all you do man and Credible Crypto did respond and wrote uh, since we have only ever had one major cycle where, where dominance went uh, below 90% plus no there are uh, no particular patterns on dominance in particular that have been established. That being said, dominance in general looking bearish on the high tie frame, in my opinion. And so that's true. Um, I'll go ahead and heart that one too. Let's throw out a bunch of hearts at everybody. You get a heart and you get a heart. Everybody gets a heart. Yeah, actually, you're part of everybody, so you get one too there. Um, yeah, so even if there's not sufficient data to draw conclusions in that way, I'll go back to something I stated a few minutes ago when I was talking about the, you know, the price of XRP potentially hitting 60 bucks, uh, whether it will or won't. You know, when you're talking about the dominance here and how altcoins are going to act in conjunction with this, I feel very strongly that humans are acting the same as they did last market cycle. And there's so many people after last market cycle, they said, yeah, all these coins, like this is going to be the flushing out that we needed in the crypto space. All these coins that don't do anything, they're going to be going to zero. And I, the whole time, if you go back to when I started this channel, this mid-December 2018 is when I uh, posted my first video, I uh, expressed skepticism from the beginning because I said, look, guys, I know a lot of you are saying this. Some of the most popular YouTubers out there were saying it. And I said, I, I'm not sold on that idea. I never, I never was sold on that idea. And why? Because as we, because mind you, by, by the way, the bottom of the bear market was December, middle of December, 2018. The projects didn't go to zero. And so here people are saying, yeah, everything's going to get flushed out. We're, 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 you know, it's, we're not, it's not going to be like the last market cycle, but here we are. And so far it looks very similar to the last market cycle. And some people, even when I point out, they're like, yeah, but I'd say, yeah, but you know, they're not at zero. They're not going the way of the dodo, my favorite extinct avian creature. And they're like, yeah, they're, they're not at zero, but they're not going to pump. And I'm like, <laughs> people clearly are not sufficiently parsing out the differences between coins, which is why I, I expressed all this skepticism. So I think everything's going to take off. Like uh, when I say everything, I don't know for sure about the, the, the small, all the small cap coins, too many for me to check. But in terms of the mid and large cap coins, every single one of them went parabolic last market cycle. I think that's going to happen again. So it's just like a, a wait and see type of thing. And everybody's going to be, uh, the, the, you know, 
just genius on steroids. Look at this. Look at these great picks that I had with all of my crypto, man. I did such a great job. Uh, it's just the whole market's doing it. It really is. In fact, it's it, there comes a point where it's like, it's impossible to pick a cryptocurrency that won't be a winner. You know, until the bubble pops anyway. It's just ridiculous. I purchased 17 cryptos when I jumped into crypto uh, November 2017. Every single one of them inside of a matter of weeks went parabolic. It was insane. Crazy time to jump in. Uh, here's chart analyst Leb Crypto talking about XRP. He wrote, um, nothing has changed. Bias still bullish uh, short term. A sharp rise to $1.50 levels would not surprise me at all. Classic short squeeze plus bull trap. Midterm, uh, still expecting continuation down towards 90 cents to $1, especially if Bitcoin breaks $53,000 support. And so I just want to point this out again. I, I, I've been talking about that a lot lately. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but I did want to make sure that I touch on this at a minimum because that might sound scary. Oh my God, 90 cents XRP. Oh my God, it's a box on XRP. Oh my God, I'll sleep on it. Well, <laughs> my friends, my friends, you're going to have a hard time in crypto if you can't handle these swings. Like, you have to understand how the market has performed in the past. And I want to share this again. I said it yesterday, but it's worth repeating for all the new people out there. During the last market cycle, from beginning of 2015 to the end of 2017, when Bitcoin went from whatever was like $1,000 to close to $20,000, there were nine major pullbacks along the way, averaging 37%. It wasn't because the sky was falling. It wasn't because the fundamentals changed. It's because people were realizing profit as the price went up. And then eventually enough people did that and it triggered downward price pressure. And then there were a bunch of people when it was cheaper, like, oh, it looks cheap now. I'm going to go ahead and start buying. And then it went up again for another round. And yes, of course, eventually the bubble inflates enough that it pops and then finally will tank 70, 80, 90%. Got it. But on the way up, like, it's not to be something, it's not something that's to be scared of, in my opinion. So you can be scared of not catching the top and then, uh, you know, falling all the way down. Fair. But that's why I'm looking at chart formations that happened the last market cycle, even though I'm not a chart guy. I, I don't know how to read charts. I have no interest in learning. I like researching fundamentals. But even me, not interested in that, I have eyeballs. I can see basic patterns that look the same as last time. And he, since I believe humans are behaving the same as last time, I'm just looking for them to do the same thing again. And so... <laughs> Once we see uh, a ton of money, because I do believe this is going to happen. The people that are in crypto that really want to just milk this for everything it's worth, they'll get out of Bitcoin, they'll throw money into large cap coins, mid cap coins. And basically, once you see every altcoin under the sun taking off, that's an indication that we're in euphoria mode and we're at the very tail end of this bull run. Until that happens, I'm not afraid. Now, when that happens, I will be exiting about 100% of my position. I'm going to own almost no crypto because to me, that's going to be an indication that we're at the top of a bubble, which is about to pop. And I will get the hell out of it, frankly. And I'll tell you when I do. Um, doesn't mean that I'm going to perfectly time it. And I always acknowledge, fine, investing in crypto is very risky. You could lose everything. It's very volatile. And so I could be wrong about all this which is why I'm not willing to give advice, but I, I think it's a fun topic of conversation. And so this is the way I look at it. This is what I'm going to do. This is the bet that I'm placing in a general sense. Tell me what you think in the comments section below, though. Am I, am I hitting the nail on the head? Am I way off? I love diversity of thought. Tell me what you think. I'm not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say are right. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.